do. Hmm. Is the desk should be at its lowest because I'm pretty sure that's. I feel very blue. I feel like I'm floating. Like my jeans are kind of blending in with the wall. Well, we had it on red, and it, it everything just looked very orange. Oh, we can turn the the remote. It's a there. true story that streamers don't have legs. <laughs> Or they don't wear pumps. Yeah, the remote. <laughs> the remote's there. We can uh, turn the power down. But I think, yeah, that, that is quite a strong blue hue. Well, What's it like when I've sat down? Do I just look really ominous? <laughs> like you're some sort of dungeon master. <laughs> but why it's glowing from down there is another question. Ah, is it X Y R zero? The jewel upon the end of my staff shines bright. Oh wait. Ah. Oh, there it's touching. Let's turn the uh, brightness. There we go. That PC looks fine. Thank you! I'm Mackenzie. I'm very thirsty. Now I'll have a drink. Why is this only Facebook? It's not. It is Twitch and YouTube also. Mm. Bonsoir! Hello from France. Ah, oh, I need to get questions done. That's what I was going to do. I'll go get the questions as they have printed <coughs> out. How is everybody this evening? I have a fierce PC and it's really good. I'm glad to hear it. Which one did you go for? Hey, Mary. I love when you speak. <laughs> Did I say it right? That's how you say that, right? Eh? Bonsoir. Un pour revoir l'édition, s'il vous plaît. That's your lot. <laughs> Glad to see this PC is ready well before release. Yeah. Um, I only got that news like. 20 minutes ago? Yeah. I mean, at least it's not like another three months. I've said it now. It can run Crisis a lot. I'm just here for the PC. I'm assuming everyone's just here for the PC. <clears throat> the only, oh, they only announced it at five? Yeah, like... I'm not surprised, but I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. I just added an extra 8 gigabytes of my PC. Well, Rangu's one. There's 64 gig of Dominator Platinum in this thing. Like that RAM kit alone, I think, is about 450 pounds. No worries, Fallen Queen. What PC is that? It is the Cyberpunk mod I built. Why do I always have rendering problems on my first PC 1050Ti 4GB? Um, first, we don't make the 1050Ti, so it wouldn't be a fierce PC 1050Ti, but it could be a number of things. You have to be more specific on what's actually happening. It's like NASA level tech mixed with some black ball illumination. I like it. All of the uh, the coolant and a lot of the paintwork is all UV reactive as well. So if you put a UV light on it, it does all glow. Can I borrow it? You know, there's a few here that I think when when COVID calms down, it'd be worth like. Do like a Willy Wonka like factory tour. I think people would be up for that. <clears throat> is a giveaway PC? It is not currently. There isn't a huge plan for it right now. It's it's one of those things we made it. We were you know we're hoping to you know everyone could see it and be really show what we're capable of. Um, but there's no plans to give it away, and we, we can't sell it either. Like we can't, you know, sell something like this covered in 
the game's branding and things like that because we're not we're not partnered with Cyberpunk. I'm told it's only reactive due to the amount of blood, sweat, and tears inside of it. <laughs> True story. Are you guys sponsoring games? Um, what do you mean, like esports or like content creators? How much is that worth? Okay, <clears throat> the parts alone. You're probably looking almost ten thousand pounds in parts. Um, there's probably over a thousand pounds just in the loop in the three radiators that are in there. Hello, I love doing gaming, don't we all? Right, that's bigger than me. <laughs> it's bigger than me. I guess like it, it looks even bigger with me sat down next to it. Can you imagine having this on your desk and just playing games next to it? Questions just in. Questions just in. Not from Justin. I'm sure there is one. From There's probably one from Justin. Although all he said so far is fight me. Uh, fight me. That's that's the Scottish spelling as well. Hey, why don't you use it as your personal ring? Yeah, I keep telling the boss that. But I think this would fit really well with a house. <sighs> Still need to see that little video where we play Cyberpunk on the PC. Yeah, but have you heard? Yeah, I've I've seen it in like three different chats. I'm like, chats. <laughs> like I said, like I was saying earlier, I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. <laughs> you know what's great? Chat they're sending me. <laughs> Have we sorted boxes for Justin yet? Yeah. Uh, boxes are in. It's on the agenda for next week, I think. It's on the agenda for next week. Justin, you listening? What's the thing on the agenda for next week? I don't think I could lift that. It is pretty heavy. We haven't weighed it. We actually had a couple of bets, like, amongst a few people here on how much it would weigh. And I know for a fact that the the case alone with the glass panels is almost 30 kilo empty. So it, it's a beast. I'll probably say you're approaching 50 kilos on it. Just because you've got these two huge radiators at the front and the one at the top that are all just filled with cooling. Da -da -da -da. Yes, Benas, I have heard about the cyberpunk delay. What update my graphics card? What PSU do I have to run like a 1660 Ti or a 2060? Not a major, like, that's not, it's not a real power hungry card. Um, you fine with like a 700 watt with those cards. Ernest has announced what's in his sandwich. I'm only disappointed he hasn't announced what's in his sandwich. What's, what's, I, I, what's I, for dinner, Chris? I haven't had a sandwich in a while. I don't like... I think it was, it was at the start of lockdown when, because I was working from home, I wasn't eating sandwiches and like loaves were going to waste and I hate wasting <laughs> food so I was only making sandwiches to come here that means um, <laughs> yeah, no more sandwiches I haven't had a sandwich in well, apart from a bacon butter now and then but yeah That's it's been good. About it cuts the carbs um, but I think I think it's it's either a carbonara or a I can't remember the other name some Spanish thing mushroom risotto I think it might be Paella. No, no, mushroom risotto. Oh. That's, what it's, that's what it's actually called. That's what my very healthy microwave meal is called. <laughs> I'm only five foot three, so it's probably at my nips. I mean, you could probably put you in it <laughs> at five foot three, Justin. <laughs> I've just realised how small you look because of the camera positioning next to it. <laughs> I know, yeah. <laughs> I actually had the boss come into my office the other day and he said something similar because I'd, I'd lifted my height adjustable desk up to like probably about here. And I, I needed to plug it in to lower it back down, but I couldn't be bothered. <laughs> so I just sat there on the laptop like this. And then he literally just came in and burst out laughing. <clears throat> Thanks for all the retweet on Twitter. My PC is very nice. I'm sure it is. Is it a fierce PC? It must be. Yeah, we only retweet fierce PCs. Oh, is it the Bob Ross one? Is it the Bob the Bob <laughs> Ross one? <laughs> yeah, someone tweeted their setup with like it was really neat and tidy, and then it just had a picture of Bob Ross. It was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> happy mistakes, happy accidents. 
Oh, okay. I have the Iron Mundle. Would I have to get a new motherboard to get a Ryzen 5 or 7? I don't know what's in the Iron Wind bundle. Uh, what processor has it got already, Rangoose? Because if it's Ryzen already and it's AM4 slot, then no, you won't. Oh, hey, wing. Ben. Right, yeah, wing wing. I know which one it is now. No, although I did see that one. <laughs> I saw that one. So it's a kind of a, a different stream today where we're going to talk about this. We're not going to be doing like a build that we normally would. Um, but I'm going to be answering questions and anything you want to know because there's a lot, of, a lot of work in it and there's a few things that you don't know this. So I'll go through people's questions and answer how I've done certain things. And I guess I'll also point, if, if it doesn't get asked, I'll point some other things out that might not have been mentioned or you might not have noticed and go from there. Uh, Rangus, yeah, you'll be fine. You can upgrade that to the Ryzen 5 or 7 with no issues. It reminds me of a slushy. It does a little bit, doesn't it? I see it. I think it might just be the colours more than anything. All those E numbers that I packed into the cooling. <clears throat> Question there. Why? Why not? Because we can. Because Cyberpunk looks really cool. We can't wait to play it. It's got an awesome theme, and it just fits. Like, when I started, the plan was to do crazy mods, make some real cool showcase systems, and when we started this, it was one of those things where Cyberpunk didn't seem all that far away, but it's just got further and further away. <laughs> I mean, Cyberpunk is computers and modifications Yes, to humans, but that's, that's pretty much what this is. It's computers and modifications, so it goes hand in hand, doesn't it? But does it blend? If you can find a blender big enough. <laughs> Sam, do you really use the eight monitors in your setup? <laughs> no, Benji, that was um, that was something we did for the the shoot. So the desk that you're looking at now. This computer was propped just in front of it, and we bolted a six arm monitor. No, it was not. Was it nine arm? Six arm? No, that yeah, that was a six arm. Six arm monitor mount in the middle, and then we had the other we another two a, monitor mounts next to that. A two monitor mount, a three monitor mount, and then we put a line of monitors at the bottom of all those monitor mounts. Yeah, I can't remember exactly how we have monitors. Have it Thank you. That's what I wanted to know if we had. Yes. <laughs> what? We are I feel live. like I'm not using it right because that just saw me 63 meters away. We are live, by the way. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well. Please don't say any bad words. <laughs> I don't think I did. No, no, you didn't. Sweet. <laughs> um, yeah, drop that wherever. I thought we had one. It's Graham Softy's Dead Soul Dust. Sweet, let's put it back. With a laser. Will you approach the mic to the rig to hear the noise level? I can, but I'm pretty sure all the fans are on very high right now. And I'm not a, just assuming that from like noise, but more from the fact that I'm freezing and sat behind it. <clears throat> Drop test. No beats. We're not doing that. What's your opinion on the Ryzen 5 5600X single core performance? I haven't seen much on it. I'm excited. I'm sure I'll get to test them soon, but I don't know much about them right now, other than that they're, you know, the big announcement they did. Thank you, Dude Slays and Michael. I did see that then about the release date. Is it true that it's so energy efficient you can run a three King Edward potatoes in series? I was wondering how long this gets to get Um <laughs> I mean if you're gonna run them in series is definitely the most energy efficient way. <laughs> yeah. With the uh, with the amount of lighting packed into this and the pumps and the tiny little seven inch touchscreen that's in the side there, I, I I wouldn't call this power efficient. I'd call it high performance. 
Well, in that case, what uh, what PSU is actually powering? Max? The the PSU powering is a HX one thousand I Corsair power supply, a thousand watts. It. Oh, it's. I was going to say it doesn't need it all, but it's probably using most of it. <laughs> There's a lot going on. There's a, there is a lot going on. Just the LEDs alone. <laughs> uh, yeah, separate proof GPU and separate CPU. It is, yeah. So the blue loop that you see there, that is the loop that's just for the C. Oh, it's not just the CPU. It's actually also cooling the motherboard. I don't know if you can see. What? Um, I didn't even notice. You that. didn't know that? <laughs> No. I don't know, is it worth me turning this a bit more? No, keep it still for <laughs> continuity, because what I'll do is I'll do a video of all these questions and put the uh, okay, okay. B-roll into it. So, this blue tube here goes to the CPU block, and then the tube next to it, which you can't quite make out, just this one here, that one goes up into the VRM of the motherboard, and then from there it goes up into the radiator that's on the top. So you've got CPU and the motherboard VRMs, and then you've got the pink loop, which calls the two 2080 Ti's. You guys have on it in the best way, of course. Well, thank you. I didn't even notice it was cool in the motherboard. I'll go back with the Ryzen 5 2600, a 1650 or a 1660. Well, the 1660's better. The, the, one of the beautiful things about Ryzen anything on the AM4 slot, that is, is that you've got a 2600, but you could put a 3600 XT in there, or you could go and put a 3950X in there. Like the, the slot is, is I was going to say universal, but that's not right. Don't try and put like an Intel in there. <laughs> but like in terms of all the AM4 processors, they'll all fit on that board. So someone, someone's asking what it looks like with the lights off. Oh dang! That, that actually looks pretty. Now cool. I look even more ominous. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome. You're definitely an evil wizard. <laughs> He's an evil wizard, Harry. I'm a what? Uh, it's a huge build that you could be used as desk support. It is a thousand D case, and it is a very strong, sturdy case, along with being a very large case. And I agree, you could probably use it as the uh, the leg for half of your desk. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! It's so bright, it can even make a difference to the lighting. The big difference you see is if we put any like UV lights on it. We've actually got a couple in the drawer, so at some point we might have to try that. Mm -hmm. um, but like I say, all the coolant, the fierce logo that you can kind of make out down there is airbrushed on with UV paint. Uh, and there's a couple of other elements like the the one ram stick that I, I painted there. That's got UV paint on it as well, so some elements of it will glow under the black light. And there's a lot more UV on the, the rear of the case, <coughs> which you might have seen in some pictures. Do you think Corsair would let us do that? Make, make a, a desk out of 2000 cases? I don't see why not. And then obviously I'll have a word. It's, I mean, it'd technically be a computer desk without being a computer desk. True, yeah. So. As long as there was enough space at the top for ventilation, it would work. <clears throat> I say we do it. It'd be quite a simple project. We could put a blender in there as well. A blender, <laughs> just, <laughs> just get 2000D cases, make one like your playing system, one your streaming system. The, the thing with this case is you can actually build two computers into this. Oh yeah, I've seen those. You, you've got the main board at the back, which is the full uh, <clears throat> ATX. You can go E-ATX, it's, it's huge, there's loads of space. But then on top of the shroud here, you actually have the points to add the standoffs and mount a micro ATX motherboard on top of where your PSU mm -hmm. is. And there, I've removed it, but that then would go onto the back and there'd be a switch on the back to turn your bottom computer on. <laughs> and the switch on the front to turn your main PC on. But you would need to get UV reacting cooling liquid as well, or is it UV? The coolant in there is already UV reactive. I think the power would probably be too powerful in my house. This PC would probably blow the electrics. Oh, I get you. <laughs> would both PCs run off one PSU? No, you can add a second PSU the part that you removed to put like a slimline PSU in next to it. 
Artor says, how much is this beast? Well, it is not for sale. Yeah, it's not something, it was a passion project. We we loved the look of the game, and it was one of those, it was something we had to do. Like, we, we had to do. Uh, but it is not for sale, and we are not partnered with CD Project Red. Just putting that out there. Um, is the arcane already going? This arcane is proving to be more popular than this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm getting more questions about the arcane than I have about this. That might be like obviously we're running the competition, but um, Arabella, one of our newer streamers, she posted how much she likes it, and her post just got hundreds of likes. Yeah, like, hundreds of comments, hundreds of likes. Is the arcane already built? Sneak peek. Uh, we've had them built. I think I have one down the stairs from there, but it's all the way in the other unit, so yeah. I wouldn't be able to bring it up here. We'll be giving that away next week, so it will be... Well, I guess we do bring it up here next week. Mm -hmm. Giving that away, and the WD M.2 SSD heatsink thingy. Heatsink thingy. Yeah, that'll be getting given away next week as well. Okay. Oh, good boy. I have a question. How many more years will I have to wait for Witcher 3 playthrough part 3? <laughs> I was thinking of playing it soon, purely because of the obviously CD Projekt Red and Cyberpunk type mashup with this. I thought it might be time to play another CD Projekt Red game. How much was the entire build for all of the parts? Well. Well. Have you done a price list yet? I did at the beginning, but that's that's probably like crumpled under some other paperwork somewhere at this point. But I, I can run through some things. I, I reckon the total price of the build would be around nine to ten thousand pounds for that, just the parts. Just parts? Wow. Just the parts. You gotta think like the these are two 2080 Ti's so they are also Asus ROG Strix 2080 Ti's so they were about 1500 quid a piece so you've got three grand there. Yeah. And then the processor, that was, is that the, the, the 3950? Yeah, the processor is the 3950X. And Which when I put it... 650, 700, I think? Yeah, when I put it in there, it not long... It hadn't even been out that long, so it was still like 750, I think. Yeah. Oh, right, yeah. Um, the, the motherboard, again, is probably about the same price as that. It's about over 700. It's the Asus Crosshair Formula 8. Uh, motherboard. So you're up to three grand four thousand four hundred. Why does it look like you just threw all the spare part, all the spare paint you had at it? It's kind of the point, to a degree. Um, I wanted to make something that was that was more something like a street kid in the game might actually own. If that makes sense. There was a lot of mods out there and they were all like really clean and really pristine. And I felt like they all had too much cyber and not enough punk. <laughs> so that's kind of where I went with this one. I don't know if you can see uh, from that camera, but there are like studded spikes all over the top. Ooh, how did you do that? How did I do that? Yes. Um, initially, I was going to drill holes <laughs> into the top of the case. Uh, but <laughs> all of the all of this case is like solid. I don't even know if it is steel or aluminium. I imagine some bits of both. But the top of this is really strong, and I, I drilled like two holes. Then realised it was going to take me about a month to put in there like seventy studs if I did it that way. So I instead cut and sprayed acrylic, studded that, screwed all the studs into those studded acrylic bits, and then they are adhered to the top. Oh. Let's catch up with uh, this. We got Slim Jupiter's. Uh, says hi, all. Okay, yeah, let's. Hang on. <laughs> Where are we? Um, I don't know. I think your chat window is like back to front of mine. Right, so the top message I've got is so what's going to happen to this PC if you can't sell it? I don't know. It was going to go to events, we're going to make more videos, do more content, cool stuff. I'm going to play Cyberpunk on it, of course. Um, but like, the whole plan was it for it to go to loads of events, and of course they wanted to take it about and do things with it, but then all events just stopped. So, 
We don't know yet. We'll see. Uh, da -da -da -da. Jeez, worth more than my car. <laughs> uh, how much has it been valued since the start of this one? Yeah, that's... Don't want to think about it. Well, <laughs> it's only really the 2080s. That, yeah, to be fair. That have gone down. And the only major change is the graphics cards. Potentially, if there is a very similar water card that comes out for a 3080. Yeah, I, I could potentially change it to two 3080s, <laughs> I guess. Once Corsair make the blocks. Yeah. If I could afford it, I'd buy it, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> too many setups look way too plain nowadays with the black and white that makes color looks awesome. Well, thank you, Steve. Ogreboy thinks this PC looks thick. <laughs> and obese Robloxian. <laughs> 22018 is basically a waste of cash at this point considering the 3000 series. The 3000 series came out not too long after I started. <laughs> okay? But. And, like I say, there's no water blocks for the 3000 series right now, especially not Corsair ones. So. They'd have just been stuck there and they wouldn't have been water cooled and it wouldn't have looked this pretty. Is that the giveaway beast? No. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you. Can you guys imagine if we gave this away and it ended up in the hands of someone that did nothing but play Minecraft and Fortnite and Roblox? And there was all that of power, course. and that's all it was ever used for. Ah, oh, that's the first video we should do, play Among Us. <laughs> Although, there was a suggestion from one of the sponsors to that potentially we may give it away in the end. We may give it away in but the end. But that was just a su suggestion just a su from, okay. from no one, promises. Of the, one of the people involved. So yeah, some, you can imagine that maybe, maybe one day after next season's um, events, that's the big thing. We, we, we want to take it to events. That's that's the major thing for us at the moment, I think, is that we want to take it around, show it off, and, yeah. and do that with it. So it just depends when events happen again. <laughs> and if they don't happen again, then who knows what might happen with the build. I think like we're so used to it being in here, but then like if, if you think of all the people who've just seen the video, that if this was in front of you at an event, you would probably spend a good 10, 15 minutes just... That, that was the hope. Like, there's, there's so many elements of this, like I say, that you guys probably haven't seen or haven't caught in the video. But there's so much on the rear of the case. Like, I almost like the rear of the case more than I like the front. Because I, I think what we'll do is, once we've got through as many of the questions for the front as possible, yeah. turn it round and we can go through the back one, because then continue there. Is it continue uh, It'll look the same. That's the word. Continuity. That's it. That's the one. Okay, let me catch up. <coughs> uh, da -da -da -da. Do you think NVIDIA would sell more NVIDIA R6 through I think they will, yes. I know they are trying to. They're doing it through different distributors at the moment, I believe. So like they're taking orders and then someone else is fulfilling them, I think. I'm, I'm not too sure. Uh, you guys looking forward to the new Radeon GPUs. I am curious. I am intrigued. I don't know how I feel about them yet. I'll wait for real benchmarks to come about, but I am looking forward to the announcement tomorrow. I miss events. I really miss events, Stephen. I really do. Like, I love events. I've worked exhibitions and everything for so long that it just feels weird that they haven't happened in, well, for, it feels like forever now. Too much RGB, sorry, I have to say. Well, you can turn the lights off. But, uh, but then, you know. But then again, if it didn't have the RGB, it wouldn't have fit the theme. I know companies jump on your idea to build this book. Was it all your own input to what went in, or did others get involved? Okay, that's that's a pretty good question. Um, so obviously there was, there was companies involved that helped like, sort the parts and everything like that. But the actual design of all of it was was entirely me. Like there was no, I'd, I'd ask for feedback now and then. Like if it was things like, right, I'm gonna do this. And what do you guys think? Do you think that's too much or not enough or things like that. But like the, all the concepts and all the ideas for it and where I was putting things was all me. Is it true that when it saw itself in a mirror, one, 
Well, it achieved <laughs> limited sentience and proceeded to ask, shall we play a game? <laughs> that would terrify me. If this just suddenly came out, uh, shall we play a game? Minecraft needs resources. Imagine we're giving it away and having it end up in the hands of someone like me. Uh, <laughs> That's what I was saying, Yoga Boy. You imagine if someone got this and then only played Roblox and Minecraft on it. I think it would actually break my heart. Headball. If it ever got given away, we've got to give away Cyberpunk with it. As far as I'm concerned. If, the, if that was to ever happen, it would have to come with the game. I don't know, as long as the game's been released. As long as the game's been released, yeah. <laughs> A 10k PC and the guy only plays Among Us, exactly. Only get like 25 FPS at the moment because shaders and high res textures, yet. Yeah. We need an extra room just for him, <laughs> yeah. Uh, what screen do you think I'm using it with? Um, the highest end I can get my hands on when I go to actually use it. Like, I haven't played games on this yet. I, I, I haven't, like, I've been so wrapped up in making the thing that I haven't, other than overclocking, which I can't even remember what I said it to at this point. Um, I haven't actually played anything on it. Is that the 4K screen still? The 4K screen, I've got doing benchmarks ah. downstairs. Um, can you show us the back? Yeah, once I've got the, well, I haven't even started these questions yet. Um, so once I've gone through this, and if anyone has more questions about the front, then we'll spin it around and I'll show you the back. Because there's a lot going on in the back. So, IG Steven said, what are the specs, which is a nice, easy, and basic question. What are the specs? Before we go to that one, I'm just going to say to Shane there, because he's noticed something saying, does it say no tell, no tell? It does. The, the sign at the top is essentially an acrylic sheet that was laser cut to have the signage from the hotel in the game, the no tell, no tell. That was laser cut out. I then used a heat gun and bent it, put it into place, and I've 3D printed all of the letters that you can see. So all of they were printed in transparent resin. Then they are backlit by the Lighting Node Pro, like Corsair RGB strips, so I can make it look like parts of the sign are actually flickering on and off. I'm quite pleased with that bit. It's pretty cool. And then what are the specs? Okay. <laughs> Let's see how much I can reel off from my head, because like I say, I don't have it written down in front of me. So, we've got a AMD 3950X processor on an Asus Crosshair Formula 8 motherboard with two Asus ROG Strix, form, no, two Asus ROG Strix 2080 Ti's, HX1000i power supply. The RAM is Corsair Dominator Platinum, that's a 64 gigabyte kit. Like I say, that's, that's crazy high-end RAM. That's uh, 3600 megahertz as well. Um, all of the cooling, no, it's, no storage. There's a Seagate Fire Cuda M.2 520, one terabyte in there, I think. But also, it has 14 terabytes of storage on a Seagate Iron Wolf Pro hard drive tucked away in the back somewhere. Uh, the cooling, like I say, we've got. Two 480 mm radiators on the front of the build, which are the graphics card loop. So they're going through into these two XG7 Corsair GPU water blocks, pumping from a Corsair X, X. And that's the same for the CPU. The CPU is pumping from an XD5, all using Corsair fittings, Corsair acrylic tubing, into the XC5. <laughs> A lot of their naming conventions are XC this or XG that, so that's, that's the XC5, no it's XC7 CPU block, which then goes onto the VRMs up into a 420mm radiator back down into the reservoir. That's, that's a lot of stuff. <clears throat> okay. Where are we at? <laughs> um, I don't know. Okay, cap locks the back. I do like the back, Stephen. I'm looking forward to showing you the back. Show me, show me the point. Will you be making the custom samurai faceplate available for purchase? Apologies for your answer to the question. We wouldn't be able to. It's not ours, if that makes sense. Like, it's technically like cyberpunk branding, 
So I don't think we could use that exact like samurai image in anything we did and sell it for profit. I don't think. Just ask a lawyer. <laughs> Uh, I'm pretty sure the new AMD Radeon 6000 series will kick ass. I'm hoping so. I am really hoping so. Damn delayed again. I know. How many case fans? That's a thought. That's part of the spec. 13. <laughs> oh. There are 8 LL120s on the front of the case, 2 LL140s on the rear, and an additional 3 ll one. 20s, or are they? No, there'll be three 140s on the top. Three 140s on the top, two on the back, and eight 120s on the front of the case. Damn. Damn. Question what's bigger, Enutaki or the PC? Enutaki's <laughs> taller. Are you giving away that PC? No, we've, we've, we've spoke about it, like I said, there's ideas floating around, but we're not sure if that will happen yet. But just keep an eye on us and our socials, and maybe eventually you'll get really, really lucky. If we ever did, it if would we be ever at did. the end of next year, because we want to take it to some events. So, is it a few of the brands? I can't remember which one said they want to take it to. Of course, they wanted to take it like all around Europe when we <laughs> first when yeah. started talking about it, but then, like again, all the events got cancelled. All the events. Oh, <sighs> I don't understand anything but Dominator Platinum sounds like the name of a demon in my nightmare, so I assume it's very good. It's very, very good. How much did this cost? Going back to it, it's, it's probably overall worth somewhere around 10k for just the parts, not including my time, and I'm very expensive. <laughs> Can you show another camera angle? We, we will. Yeah. We're, we're definitely going to do that. It's just trying to get through the questions so we've got something we can cut up and use for other content and then we'll give you like a proper grand tour I guess. Yeah, so we, we're going to try and make this into a video on YouTube so if you have asked a question then it should I, I, I do have questions in front of me that I'm going to go through, um, which I should probably start doing. <laughs> so I want to make sure everyone was here, I didn't want someone to ask a question and then not get their answer, you know? Did any benchmarks? Um, not formally. Like, I initially did, but it was more stress testing, just to make sure everything was functioning right, and I've, like, overclocked it and things, but I don't have any scores to hand. But I guess we could make a video on that. Uh, benchmarking Cyberpunk on the Cyberpunk machine, I Bench think is... Yes, benchmarking Cyberpunk on the Cyberpunk PC. Yes, <laughs> let's do that. Cyber, Cyber, <laughs> Cyberpunk. I think that that should be the most relevant benchmark. Oh yeah, I hope they've got an inbuilt benchmark, that'd be really good. Ooh, that would be good. Because they didn't do it with The Witcher, but it's still a game that's commonly used for benchmarks. It's also going to your Witcher. <laughs> What's the uh, the intake exhaust ration on the fan? Do you mean like the ratio? Well, all of the intake is from the front, so you've got eight fans, eight 120s coming from the front, and then you've got five exhausts, so you've got three on the top, and two out the back. But they're 20 mil bigger. So I guess it's really fairly even, I'd imagine. I don't know how the scale of the fan will really impact it, but overall, eight fans on the front, eight fans intake, five fans out. But the outtake are bigger fans. Do with that what you will. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. I'm sure Chris would love to show that off. Chris? What? What? What would I love to show off? I'm not sure which Chris Stephen is referring to. Do you mean the Chris that sat next to me, or? I mean, do you mean the Chris that sat two meters away from me? <laughs> well, if you put, well, that's an incredible question. If you put wheels on it, would the force of the fans start driving you away? <laughs> With the oh. weight of it, that's very unlikely. There's not enough thrust. I feel that's something we need to test, because if, well, you've, got, try, yeah. if you've got clear intake on the back, and then, Exhaust, sorry, clear intake on the front and exhaust on the back. It should set, like, not that one, but a case might do. We might have to do that. We'll have to get a hold of like, some big 200mm fans I'm and sure. see how many we have to put in the front of the case for it yeah. to move on its own. We might have to I make like, like, additional cool. brackets to mount extra fans. And... Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
the airflow must be amazing. Yeah. I'm looking for a thousand pound gaming laptop. Can you suggest some? I don't know what gaming laptops we have anymore because we had MSI ones last I checked. Yeah, we normally have MSI ones, but they go out of stock pretty quick. They do. They are very popular. They are good. Um, I've used a few different ones. I've used Asus and MSI for gaming laptops. I've even used our uh, Dream Machine one. Oh, it was what I use for work, which is really good. We've got the Asus ones back in. We've got Asus laptops yeah. back in. Have a gander. Uh, but yes, yeah, it's, it's normally an MSI or Asus, just because they're. Every time we try going with a different company, we come back to them because they're just quality. Yeah, they really are. <clears throat> they know what they're doing. Okay. Almost as much as my anime figure collection. <laughs> he's not expensive, guys. Get him a Chinese and he's yours. Beats, no. I'll never get a salary again. <laughs> Have you made a video of this bad boy being used yet? No. It's coming. We were just talking about that. We were literally just saying that's what we're, we're going to do with the benchmarks. But uh, you might not see gameplay footage until they release the game. <laughs> <laughs> and if, with, the, with the delays going on, you might <laughs> never see it. <laughs> um, Damn, we're going to be deep into like Christmas season when... It gets mega busy around here, and I've got to turn around and say, yeah. uh, I need to borrow Sam and a couple of staff members to play Cyberpunk. Well, oh, no, it's just me. <laughs> it's fine. I have no problem sitting here going through the entire campaign. And I, I'd also like uh, to purchase Cyberpunk on the <laughs> company card. It's the only reason I haven't bought it yet. I'm just waiting for it to go on the company account, and then I'll play. <laughs> IG Steven says Corsair Chris. Not Corsair Chris. No, not me. Corsair Chris. I'm sure he's probably seen it. I know Pascal's seen it. <clears throat> uh, okay, hang on, let me go right back up to that. Uh, airflow is not that important in this case with it all being what we call true. However, obviously the airflow through the, the radiators is fairly important for the water cool to work efficiently. I mean, either or. Uh, hey, you know I'm my PC in my folder, so I'm going to see that. Might be partitions, Neds, or you might have left a USB stick booked in the back. True, I'm not going to go This bad boy could probably play Cyberpunk on 8K, 60FPS, my PC wouldn't be able to do that video. Next year. <laughs> YouTube video, impressive reflections going down. Well, thank you. Was that in regards to the spec? <laughs> Get yourself some Apple's overly expensive Mac Pro wheels. Oh, jeez. Makes sense. Yeah, I don't know first game play that. Yep, 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 yep. Will you be getting more fierce PC jerseys back in stock soonish? I thought we had some. We've got certain sizes, but again, uh, I think we're having factory problems. I think large went out of stock and small went out of stock, so. I'm still waiting for an answer, but we are looking, I think we've got a meeting about merchandise coming up. Fierce PC jersey. Oh. You too could look as good as this. So, should we get through some of the questions? Let's, yeah, let's go through some of the ones that are actually written down. Like, Raps Gillian's got one here. I don't know if Raps is even still here. I think he's just coming in on high. Oh, he'd, he'd let us know if he was here. Yeah, I think he would. Yeah, I think he's gone. So I'm not going to answer his question. <laughs> right, okay. So, the three questions at the top of this, which I've already answered, I think, about four times, which is how much is it? Back 10k worth of parts, not including all the labour I put into it. Will we be able to buy it? Nope. We are not a, we're not approved slash partnered with CD Projekt Red, so we can't make any kind of profit from their, you know, logos and things. This is purely like, this is basically fan art for the game. Um, I want a Caprani hat on beanie. Yeah, I'll get back to you, Stephen. But I promise to swim. Um, how do you fit so much in there? With great difficulty in some of it, um, I actually had to mod the this part here. Basically, houses your hard drives, and. How the case comes, you can't mount two reservoirs like that on there. Initially, I was going to mount one on top of the radiator, 
but I didn't like how it looked. They were kind of like stepped, you had one at the top and then one down. And I thought they'd just look a lot better parallel next to each other. So I had to modify a bracket and drill a few holes, basically, to bolt down these two reservoirs on top of the hard drive cage that you see there. Um, there is a seven inch touchscreen just behind them as well. And initially I was gonna mount that on like an arm so you could like kind of rotate it around, but the, the mounting for that, they just, in the end, there was just no room for it because the arm didn't bend back as far as it needed to, to be able to like fit everything else in. Mm -hmm. So in the end, that just got flat mounted onto the back. Uh, in terms of the rest of the loop, it's the thousand DKs. It's it's huge. I don't don't have the actual dimensions, but I think it's almost eight hundred mil high on the exterior. So you've got like a good seven hundred mil space inside to just do with what you will. Like there is a lot of room. I'll tell you what we could do. We're gonna put a comparison next to it. We just happen to have some sort of cyber-inspired build <laughs> sort of hanging around in the studio. I don't know if you guys have seen. I'm just waiting for Chris to trip over the wires on the PC now. Have so, you guys seen the Nomad? So the Nomad is a pretty big PC. Have we got another? Uh, we do. Uh, so this is the Nomad. This is one of the inspired builds. Let me plug that in for you. And which call uh, which call master case is this? H five hundred yeah. cooler master case. And that's quite a decent sized case. Yeah, this this case is pretty big. It was set for those fans. And it looks like it. a micro build. It does, it, it looks tiny in comparison. <laughs> this is the small form factor cooler master H five hundred. But this is the Nomad. This has a thirty eighty in it. <laughs> <laughs> on a soft tube loop. Hi, G. Stephen. Then obviously we're not reading that out. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Stephen. Didn't realise you could see. But if you really put it into perspective, how big that thing is. Yeah, this this is by no means like a small case. Like just for example, the two fans that you just saw on the front are two hundred mil fans. Like, yeah. <laughs> But the, the plan with this one was to make a more industrial looking PC, like all kind of inspired mm -hmm. by the cyberpunk theme. So you know there's those three life paths, oh there we go, I was waiting for it to light up. You've got the three life paths in the game, you've got the Nomad, the Street Kid and the Corpo. So I wanted to try and make builds that kind of like emulated those, those life paths that are in the game. So this one's the Nomad, where I tried to make it a bit more industrial and rugged and engine-like, I guess. So it's got soft tube, CPU loop, huge fans. Wanted to make it look really like gritty and powerful, but not go over the top with bright colours and fancy things because it's it's more function over style. I think was one of the terms in it. If I order a PC from you in January, when will it get here? In January. Well, unless it's January the. Unless it's. <laughs> yeah, um, unless it's right at the end of January. Although, if it's a next day PC, then yes. Yeah, so. Was you able to get everything you wanted in this, or other components you just couldn't get, or just would go? No, everything is in there. Um, Flip the switch, I'll uh, get that one oh. away. Everything is in there. I made it fit. <laughs> like it was, it was one of them. I had loads of plans of like, this is what I'm going to put into this build, mm -hmm. and I made sure it all went in there. I had to do some modifications to the case and other parts to make it happen, but I got everything in. It was interesting that at the start, you were when you got the case, you were like, wow, I've got so much room to work. Well, there was a point where you started running out of room. Yeah, yeah. Just so essentially, it. when when I first got the case. I was like, I can do anything in here. <laughs> I don't have to worry about a thing. This is limitless. I can just put, keep putting things in here with no problem. But like I say, there was a couple of things like the, the monitor arm. Um, I was concerned the hotel sign was going to fit at one point. But there was a point I got to where it was like, I planned too much. But I got it all in there at the end. <laughs> Thank you, 
So how do I say that? Kerry Car Lay? I'm glad you liked it. Good Xmas plans. Will there be Black Friday or boxing their sales at Fierce? Probably. I would just keep your eyes out. It's not so much my role to deal with the sales, but I imagine there's something something coming. <clears throat> okay. How long did it take to build? Is that on my list? It's not on my list. Can't answer you. <laughs> okay. How long did it take to build? Right. Uh, now, it took longer than I wanted it to take to build it. A lot of that was down to COVID and when that kind of really hit, this didn't get as much of my attention as I'd have liked to have, you know, given to it. And Christmas as well. And and Christmas, yeah. I was doing other things, like we got really busy over Christmas and then we had like a brief quiet like a very brief quiet period where I, I really got stuck into the designs and my thoughts on what I was gonna do. And then just as I was about to start was when like kind of COVID started rolling in. So I was doing a lot of other things, working here, there, and everywhere within the business as best I could to help. And then, and eventually, I, I got back to it and dedicated all my time to it. And here we are. But I think it was, in total, it was over three hundred hours worth of work. If you consider the designing, the the three D printing hours, the the laser cutting, all the CAD work that I did for things like the laser cutting and the three D prints. Um, making everything fit the paint drop of the paint time like just you know sanding everything down so that the paint would adhere to everything sanding it priming it painting it doing then their vinyl cuts that have then used the stencils to do their airbrushing and then wait for all that to dry and then seal that there's there's a lot of time in it the quickest part of this was probably the loop <laughs> like once I've got all the customized elements together and it's like right this is what's happening I just need to bend the pipes now that was probably one of the quicker parts. How much of that was slacking up? About 95%. Uh, people are asking if we've got Black Friday sales. Yes, we do. We do? What? what? Um, they have not been finalized, but this year we will be trying to keep people informed as much as possible. So, it's not been confirmed, but I think the idea is to let people know what's going to be in the sale, but not to tell them the price until sale day. Okay, thank you. Did you guys get that? I hope you get that, because I wasn't listening. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, waiting on the small size to come back in stock. Is that regards to the jerseys, Ben? Uh, would you like to change something to it? You mean like change part of the build? Um, <laughs> that's a question. Because I've said a number of times now, like I'm one of those people. I'm I'm a creative person, and that means every time I work on something, by the end of what I finish doing, I hate it. it. It's it's one of those things. Like I don't know if any of you have ever heard the saying that of the of the creator's curse where like you'll make something but whilst you're making that thing you've learned new techniques and processes whilst making it so once it's done you know you can do better and therefore you end up not liking elements or you think oh no i could have done that better or i should have done this that way and so on but the nature of like deadlines and stuff like that you know you never get to change those things um, I would have liked to have potentially added swanky braided cables to it, but I'm, I'm not mad with what I've done with like, these thick covers I've done for the cables, if you guys can see them. The more like thick black tubing that looks more industrial. I think it fits the theme better anyway. <clears throat> um, I would have liked to have added some more graphics to the, uh, to the reservoirs in there, maybe like some of the drinks branding, because I don't, I don't know if you can see that from there either. Just in front of the reservoirs, there's branding for one of the drinks brands in the grain, uh, the game, uh, Nicola, Drink Crazy. 
But, but other than that, like, I'm, I'm fairly happy with most of it. It's just, yeah. I guess if I really sat here and looked at it, I could probably tear it apart, so I'm trying not to. <clears throat> when did you start to plan this build? Um, I want to say like the idea came around probably towards the end of January, but that was just kind of like a suggestion. And then nothing really started in terms of like designs until April. And then, well, when did COVID really hit? I like how that's now become a, a milestone in time of like when things happened. COVID was March this year, but I think you actually started March, yeah. last year because you started before Christmas. But yeah, yeah, so it was like, it was something we'd spoke about kind of got some plans together before Christmas, you're right. And then it kind of started happening just before March and then nothing happened with it for a really long time. Like a good four months, nothing happened. We had like ideas, things planned, parts had started arriving and then it just got put on hold for like a good four or five months. <clears throat> I'll see you later, Rogerboy. I'm like that with development stuff all the time, developing parts and stuff, like I get it all done and then I'm going to stop, excuse me, and then I'm going to start it all again. So you understand, you do it and you finish, like, eh, eh, just rub that out, start again. Uh, okay. I'm quite the fan of the Corpo and Street Kid builds, I'm glad you like them. What's wrong with the Nomad? Do you not like the Nomad? The, the Street Kid, I do really like in the, the Cougar Conquer case. That's the Cougar Conquer, not the Conquer 2. Um, I am a fan. That's actually got a little bit of modding done to it as well. Okay. Shall we give it a turn so it's fully signed? I was going to say, I've, I've still got like. I haven't done enough of these questions. <laughs> so, yeah, so let's bring it this way so it's fully signed on for now. Alright, I'm going to have to stand and actually give it some <laughs> lift. There we go. Oh yeah, there's loads more lighting. That's really made it kind of pop. There we go. <coughs> oh. When will the winner be announced of the free RTX 38 PC giveaway that took place on the 14th of October? But if you read the terms and conditions, we will be announcing that winner next week. Next week? Next Tuesday? Mm -hmm. Live on stream? Live on stream. I guess it can run Crisis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Twice. Because it's got 220 ATTRs. Are PC discount sales better on Black Friday or Boxing Day? I don't know. I try not to get roped into them. Um, it is more of a, quest, a Chris question. I think we would probably put more effort into Black Friday. Um, more effort into Black Friday. And to be honest, most retailers want to kick off their Q4 season as early as possible. That's why Black Friday happens. So they will put the best deals out there to hit their targets quicker. Boxing Day sales just tend to be getting rid of stuff that you haven't managed to clear and just trying to get people's last bits of Christmas money. Well, there you go. <laughs> in 50 years time, kids will be taught the history, in history about COVID and this piece of PC. <laughs> <laughs> will you be doing this PC for sale? Unfortunately not, Andy, we, we can't sell the PC. It is a, it is a passion project. It is fan art, it is just because of our love for the game and respect for CD Projekt Red when they're not delaying the game. And uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not something we can sell anyway. It's got like cyberpunk branding and like elements from their game on it, so it just wouldn't be right to do so. Don't say you won't win, Escape Penguin. You might never say never. That's what every winner of ours has said when they won a PC. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Did you hear that? That's what every winner has said. I never win things. I never thought I'd win. Can we sign up for a newsletter from Fierce? I don't know. Can we? 
can yes can you do? can there should yes, be a can. section on the website to put your details in and we are constantly trying to improve it as well well there you go there's your answer there is a newsletter from Pierce and you've obviously all got all the socials Fierce, is it just Fierce PC or is it Fierce PC Limited? Um, Twitter is still Fierce PC Limited because we are yeah. still working on them. So Twitter is Fierce PC LTD. Um, if you've seen the video for this, you've already got the YouTube, which is... Fierce PC. Fierce PC. I think Instagram is Fierce PC, or it may be Fierce PC LTD again. Okay. And Facebook is Fierce PC. And we have a TikTok that has one video on it. We have a TikTok with one video on it. Is it this video? <laughs> it's that video. I'll, I'll put a little snip, couple of snippets on TikTok myself. And I'm, I'm trying to like develop more content around the things I'm doing in my day to day. Like I haven't been able to do it because of what this has been and it's all been under wraps. It's all been secret. But I'm trying to get more little bits of content together so you can see more of what I do here in my you know day to day roles. And I've got a couple of snippets of this video on my TikTok, and it's the video that's had more likes is a video of the arcane. <laughs> Again! <laughs> it sure looks amazing, well done for all the hard work that you put into this PC. Thank you very, very much. It was, again, it took a lot longer than I initially thought it would. But it's uh, parts of it were really quite stressful, especially like when there was points of like the game's out in like a month, we need to do this, and then they delayed the game, and I could breathe again for a moment, and then we carried on. <laughs> it's delayed again. I'm gonna cry. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> when the time comes, I feel this PC needs to be used for a live streaming project. Well, like like we say, there's a good chance that we'll end up playing. Cyberpunk 2077 live on stream on this PC. It's been suggested. Even if I've got to come in on a <laughs> weekend in my own time, I have no problem with it. Wait, what? It's been pushed back to the 10th, doesn't it? So the 10th is... 10th of December. It's a Thursday. It's a Thursday. Oh, I think, well, just I think benchmarks again. on the game are the, the first thing. Okay. Uh, yeah. So yeah, we could do like some basically on the Thursday, do some benchmarks on the Cyberpunk game with this PC, and then the following Tuesday do an actual stream where we play Cyberpunk on this. Could do. Although I'd be in if they're doing the stream on Thursday during the day. If it's if that's all that, I'm fine with that. <laughs> <laughs> if it's release day, then you know it's probably going to get the most. Views. I will happily play Cyberpunk during work hours <laughs> on, a, on a Cyberpunk rig. No problems with that. Okay, I'm going to answer a couple of these questions now. So I'll get these beats, these beats. I'll get these questions out of the way, and uh, then we will turn it round. Unless there's any more questions about the inside, so you can see its backside. But I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll do these questions, and then maybe we'll get the other camera. Have we got like one of the little handheld ones somewhere? Uh, we've got the roof on, which I was going to detach, but we we start having problems with it again. Okay. So we might be able to get one of the smaller webcams, if not, once that the actual continuity of the video we're making around these questions is done, I might even take that little camera off off the tripod and show you some close-ups. <laughs> yeah. Give you a point of, point of view shot. Uh, yep, yeah, it is in regards to the jerseys. Is there a huge delay on YouTube? I swear I answered that question like 15 minutes ago. <laughs> Is five millisecond compared to the one millisecond monitor a huge difference? I don't think so, classified. I I just went from a 1080p 144 hertz to a one millisecond to a 2K 144 hertz that is, I think it's three milliseconds. It was three or five, it might be five. And I haven't noticed anything at all. Okay. So there was a question from Rap Skillion, the one and only, who said, what was the most difficult part of the build? Also, which part felt the most satisfying to do? Okay. Um, the most difficult part of the build. <laughs> this might sound like a really boring answer. 
but it would probably be elements of the cable management. There are obviously two graphics cards, both with dual six pin power cables, then all of the lighting, there are two, almost two full lighting node pro kits in this. So there's all of those Corsair adapters, which are going into, I think there's three or four LED controllers in the back of here, then connected up to another two or three lighting nodes, which are then connected to the Commander Pro. And all of the Hydro X has its own individual like lighting connectors. So everything's like daisy chained together and rooted around in the best way it can be. The lighting strips in the top behind the hotel sign, the lighting for the fans, there's lighting coming in the rear of the case that you can't quite see from there. If you look at the shroud, you might notice that it looks like the blue lights are traveling down this kind of like faux power cable down here. So it looks like the power is kind of flowing from this down the cable and into the rest of the build. That was probably one of the more satisfying parts as well. Once I finally got all of that set up and had all the lighting moving how I wanted it to move, like with the flickering hotel sign and the power lights moving and, and all those elements, sign was one of the more complicated things to get together in the right size and such, but it, is, like, it came out really well. But you can see the lights flickering on there. I wanted it to look like a broken hotel sign. Um, it looks like we've got slightly bad internet at the moment, so I'm going to try to switch to my portable router for a second. See if that helps. We've got bad internet? Yeah. Oh, we did. Oh, we've only dropped 1.2% of frames. Oh, uh, it's come back again now. 1.3%. Uh, it's rising. Uh, let's see if it's true. Hi, Hi, Phoenix Fallen. Cyberpunk is now delayed. I know. I know. We're just going to be changing the internet, so bear with us, guys. H I Q T. And then I'll answer these next few questions, and we'll give you some close-ups of the build. Is this better or worse? It's not very good area three. Yeah, solid green. Are we good? Yeah, that was good. But yeah, it was just flashing red a lot. I didn't notice for it. Oh, wait, we've gone red again. <laughs> and, green. and green again. That might have just been it swapping then. It still it still looks like it's connected wired though. You need to disable wired, I think. Uh, it's It shows really oh, weird. Because it it's a, a Wi Fi broadband router. It, comes up as connected. Yeah, well that, that should be the Wi-Fi symbol, because it's still connected to the wired one there. You'd have to disable Network 3 like adapter to be purely Wi-Fi. Uh, I bid £40. No. <laughs> it's gone green, so it looks okay. Yeah, it's gone green. Right. <coughs> um, what else we got? How much was the PC? It's about 10k worth of parts, not including labour. Uh, I thought the sign flickering was a camera issue, but since it's not the camera, that's awesome! Thanks. Yeah, it's it's the Lightning Node Pro Corsair strip, so you can individually control each LED on it. So a couple of them flicker, so a couple of them go on and off, and so on. But you, can, you can't quite see it on the camera, I don't think, but it says has the vacancy sign on that far... Is it right side to you, I guess? On the far right side, there's a vacancy sign that says no vacancy. But obviously, the no would only light up if there was no vacancies. So I made that turn off and kind of flicker. Uh, that computer looks like a monster. I'll take that as a compliment, Mia Kanimu. No. Okay. So we answered Ben's question before, will you make a custom made samurai faceplate available for purchase? It's a cool idea, but again it's not something we can do, unfortunately. It's it's you know it's C D Project Red own that. Uh, is it good in an apocalypse connection successful? What did you do? I switched the cable. 
No, it seems horrible. Now we're dropping frames like a dump. I don't know. Chris broke it. I think this means we go back to... Bear with. Bear with. Is it stabilizing? No, it did not. No, it did not. Much worse. Success! Very nice. Have you seen there's a new Borat movie? Not yet. <laughs> I don't know if I want to, like... Yeah, I know. There was loads of stuff coming about. Like, does 2020 really need a new Borat movie? And no, Stephen, we do not. We do have technically two connections in here right now to try and help, but then the one that was supposed to be the backup didn't help. F1 Chainsaw is hilarious. I'll w I know I'll watch it at some point. I think I've just got to be in a very specific state of mind. Like, I, I think I've got to get, like, psyched up to sit and watch it. Drunk when there's nothing else to watch. Drunk when nothing else to watch. That is it. That's when it'll be at its most <laughs> hilarious. Chunky Butt Gaming, hi! <laughs> Welcome! <laughs> okay, let's let's get through these questions so I can give the guys, that everyone is here, a, a like, closer look. Interesting name, indeed. Okay, so what was the last one I said? Where was asked, is it good in an apocalypse situation? Yeah, your games are installed, and you got power, you got no power. Make a great barricade. If you were strong enough, you could use it as a weapon. The top <laughs> is quite spiky. Yeah, you could like push it off of a building onto whatever apocalypse creatures coming after you. There's always a creature, right? Yeah, it's like a stack of zombies. Like yeah. World War Z climbing up the sides. Drop that on top of them. Drop them. You shall be receiving all of my monies on Friday. So many things I must buy from your site. That's what I like to hear. After, let us know what you're going for. Um, okay. Would you ever make the mod kit available for purchase? You know, that's a really good idea. But without the like, cyberpunk like elements. Like, obviously, without the cyberpunk elements, because as I keep coming back to it, we're not part of the CD Projekt Red, we're not affiliated with the CD Projekt Red, we can't make money out of things that CD Projekt Red made, like this logo and some of the other pieces of art that are on the case. But the general idea of moddable items, like you buy this case and then you get like a kit car setup, I like it. I'm, I'm going to give that some thought. New business adventure, mod kits, yeah. See, I, I could could easily make these spike things as something you could get and put down on your 1000D, which I'll, I'll give you a closer look at after I've answered these next couple of questions. Um, what did you use? From Cyberpunk 2077 for inspiration, everything I could find. There's there's no other way to put it. When plans started, there was only the odd screenshot of some of the more like prominent locations in the game that you see in the trailers. Uh, there was an hour-long playthrough video, I think, like the first hour or an hour of gameplay or something that was live on a YouTube channel. And I just sat there and I must have watched it a good 10 times, just pausing at certain points, taking notes of the timestamps of things that I'd seen and taking screenshots of like the advertisements I could see and the names of the restaurants and the billboards and the little branding elements that I could see in there to try and kind of build a library of inspirational and there's a word I'm looking for reference that's the word I build like a library of reference that I could keep coming back to I know this is a theme this is what I'm going for this looks cool we can tie that in in this way so basically I just went through so much of their content picked out all the best bits I can and even some of the bits that were more subtle than the rest of it so that only those that really know what they're looking at will you know make sense of it uh, they've actually got a website called nightcity.love, which is kind of cool if you guys haven't been on it already. And it's literally like a, a, a website for Night City, the city in the game. 
and that's covered in little pop-up advertisements and other like banner ads and things like that for different products that are in the game. So when I turn this around, you'll get a closer look at it if you haven't seen it in some of the pictures already. I basically made like made out like there's been like posters fly posted onto the back of the case from all of these different brands. So I've had to go in, get the files, manipulate them, then I had to print them all out, manipulate them so they look like they were worn and they've been there for a while and then applied them all to the rear of the case to, to try and give that effect. Um, but that's, that's where I got a lot of the inspiration from was the playthrough videos, trailers, concept art and their Night City Dot love website. What's the best looking feature in your build? What's the best looking feature? Um, I would imagine that's a matter of opinion. Um, some people might like some parts. <coughs> some people might not like those parts. Okay. I'm so gonna, I'm going to ask again. What's the best looking feature in your build? Oh, I know what you're getting at. <laughs> That's not even something that someone's asked, is it? You've just seen something and gone, oh, oh I can make a pun. Oh, that's exactly what I did. That's exactly what you did. Okay, so for, uh, for some insight and context into what Chris just said, what's the best looking feature? I'm going to get up to show you this. What's the best looking feature? I'm so proud of myself. There he is. Can you even see it? Yeah. You might even be able to see it on the video. You can, yeah. Look at this, guys. <laughs> it's kind of stuck down, isn't it? Oh. Pop your eyeball out. What's the best looking feature, guys? Yeah. Their eyeball. <laughs> <laughs> this was kind of an afterthought. I'm not going to lie. That was... No, it wasn't afterthought. It was it was something that I wanted to do initially, but it was more of a really desirable feature. I wanted to build a webcam into that eyeball and set it all up so that you could have even have the little seven inch touch screen that you can see over there, have that displaying what was happening, the, what you could see through that eyeball. Um, so <laughs> it's it's not something I ever got round to making work. Which is a little disappointing because it would have been really cool. So instead, I just put like a little LED on it, which I don't think is turned on right now. Um, <laughs> but yeah, great pun. <laughs> yeah, best looking feature. Oh, it's an eye. Yes. <laughs> You're so haunted, but slightly entertaining at the same time. Yeah, I, I wanted to put a webcam into the the eye itself. But one of the issues I had was that no matter which webcam I was getting a hold of, all of the PCBs for the webcam were just in varying shapes and sizes. So unless I made the eye huge, I couldn't fit anything together. So it, it, was, it was one of those things. It was either try and rush it and bodge it together and it not look quite right, or it looked too big to be an actual eye, or kind of scrap it and come back to it later if I had time. Didn't really have time, so it became like this little LED eyeball, <laughs> essentially. Uh, okay. Wait, what did I just miss? I suddenly feel like there's a lot of chat there that I must have been on. Uh, mod uh, what's the what's the Krabby Patty formula? <laughs> did you use Veet on your head? No, it burns. Uh, yes, put some spikes on my Dell Optiplex. <laughs> <laughs> the motel sign, yeah, it's, the motel sign's got to be one of the best features. What's the best looking feature in your build? Well, like my personal build? Not a lot, because I'm one of them people that I work with the computers all day, and I want to have a really nice fancy build of my own. But every time I get back, I just want to play on it. I don't want to take it apart. I'm now Fierce's 19th follower on TikTok. Well, thank you. Yeah, that, that was going to be what I tried, Stephen, but it was just one of them things that like I never, never got to. Do you know what I mean? It was like, right, that's probably how I could do this. 
I'll think about that later. And then all of a sudden it was like, right, well, you got that build finished yet? <laughs> and that was it. Your build, alpha male. <laughs> Skadoosh. I like the Caprani thing you have on your power support. That's just a vinyl sticker that I was just messing around with. That was more like me learning more about vinyl cutting than it was trying to be cool. Um, okay. So I, technically I already answered this last question from Moon Tipped at the beginning of the stream. But I'll go over it now. Moon Tip. Moon Tipped asked, how did you make the no tell, no tell sign? So what I did was I had strips of, I think there were five mil, the three or five mil acrylic strips that were cut down so were about the right size that they would fit into the top of the case there underneath the radiator. I then made some graphics, converted them into the right files that could be used on a laser cutter, and then they were then laser cut out of that sheet of acrylic. I then used a heat gun to bend the end of the acrylic so the side is curved on the, you can't even really see it, on the far right side over there, it curves around like the hotel sign does in the game. Um, it was one of the most prominent things I'd seen in screenshots, so I thought it has to be part of the build. It's a place that you're going to visit often in the game, as far as I'm aware, so it would look really cool to include it. The, the letters were all 3D printed in a transparent resin. So I got the, the sizes from the file I used for the laser cut, extruded them out, and then kind of gave them a bit of backing so they wouldn't fall through. 3D printed them, glued them all into the acrylic, and then backlit them with a Corsair lighting node probe so I can make all the lights flicker <coughs> and give it all the right colors for the right places. Yeah, I remember when you did that in the background of M Stream. Oh, when I put the Caprani thing on there? Was M Streaming when I did that? Yeah, I probably was. I was probably in my own world, like, hey, I'm gonna make my computer cool. Okay. How hard is it to take that camera off of there? Uh, not hard at all. Have I got the, the length with the cables will be the next thing, because that's cable type. Ooh, uh, this camera may have had a problem with power. Let's check. Oh yeah, it's still a problem. Change the battery! <laughs> I'll bring the tripod with maybe just a bit. Oh no, I'll just zoom. I'll zoom and talk. <laughs> okay. <coughs> I mean, you can bring the tripod with you just as long as the cable doesn't extend. I don't want to risk it never going back into the right place. Oh well, it doesn't matter so much now, does it? No. Now we've done through all the questions. Okay, we're getting closer. We're getting closer. Okay. Can you guys still hear me? Because I can't read what you're saying. Yes. <laughs> I, guess, I guess I will be your... Uh, you'll, you'll be the uh, voice of chat. Right. How do, how do we tilt this thing? Which one do uh, tilt? Twisty handle sticking out. Oh, God. Okay. There you go. Right, so we'll... IG Steven says yes. Okay. <laughs> we'll start from the bottom. Starting from the bottom, there we go. Okay. And we'll zoom in. Dun, dun, dun. Whoop. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun. So this is the the power supply shroud. Obviously, it's all all backlit in there. So the the kind of circuitry cyberpunky patterns that you see, and the the kind of notches in the top, was a real pain. The case is really strong. I think I said this in the the little brief explainer video that we had. But the the shroud was really strong and really hard to get through and all I had was hacksaws and dremels and I, I basically like broke a dremel bit almost every time I cut one of these lines and had to keep replacing it to, to get through it because I didn't have the right ones with me but again it wasn't something I was going to wait for a delivery of it needed to get done um, so it took me a long time to cut those bits out then behind that is another piece of frosted acrylic just to diffuse the light a little better and behind that are more Lightning Node Pro Corsair LED strips which then run into the, the black tube that you can see there so it looks like the power is kind of like zooming along that. It doesn't look as animated as it does in person on camera because it all looks very bright but essentially it looks like it's kind of like shooting along there. 
Let's zoom back out. Fierce logo, naturally, airbrushed on. Wanted it to look grungy, like someone's just come and rushed and sprayed that on. Uh, I will show you that under UV light <coughs> in a moment, because I have the UV lights right here. Okay. Then we have the two reservoirs. And like I say, we had the Nicola drink crazy signs I put onto the bouncing of those. We have two drain taps. Not only to make the loop easier, but it looks kind of like you've got a vat of some weird, crazy, futuristic energy drink. And we head this way. Benji says, have you ever played the Cyberpunk tabletop game? I can't say I have, but I want to. Sounds cool. Sounds like it really speaks to the, the nerd inside of me. Uh, let's come up from the right hand side, and then I'll go to the left. So the radiators. Like I said, one of the big things that I'd seen in other mods people were doing was that they all looked really, really clean. And as I said earlier, there was like too much cyber and not enough punk. There wasn't enough like grunge elements of it. So I wanted them to look bright and neon, but also to look worn. Like a lot of elements of this, I like the fact that they look like spare look worn. Like a lot of elements of this, I like the fact that they look like spare parts and they've, they've kind of cobbled this together. So that radiator there is all yellow, the one at the top. Again, marks, grunge, worn areas. I actually had to uh, scrape the Corsair logo off the radiator that was already there and then stencil and airbrush that back on because I thought they'd be mad that they gave me radiators and I took their logo off of them. So I put it back on. <laughs> IG Steven says, looks like a slush puppy machine. Slush puppy machine, <laughs> yeah. So I used to go to like, the ice rink when you were a kid and you just got them two huge vats. One thing you haven't touched on is the screen surround. Yes, that's where I'm going next. Funny you should ask. Oh, I don't have a keyboard plugged in, so it's not got the, the little animated video on. But the screen that you see here, and if you guys have seen the explainer video, you've already heard my pun. But that's a 7 inch touch screen in there, which is wired up to the graphics card via a HDMI, which will be just that cable you can see just on the back there, because it goes out of the case and into the, the GPU. But it's a screen that basically acts like a monitor, so anything you do on the PC can be seen on there. It's currently got Asus, Asus GPU tweak for the ROG Strix 2080 Ti there. But the frame itself, because the screen wasn't much on its own, they're made for like Arduinos and uh, Raspberry Pi programming tools. Uh, I 3D printed the frame around it, I wanted it to give that kind of Neo Tokyo billboard sci-fi vibe. So the actual, the kanji there, as far as I'm aware, says fierce. <laughs> I really hope it says fierce. Um, but yeah. The pun I made in the video was that as this is a 7, <coughs> seven inch touchscreen powered by the PC, displaying for the PC, this makes this whole thing a tablet. <laughs> uh, IG Steven says, would Slush Puppy be good for coolant for a PC? <laughs> Probably for the first 20 minutes, yeah, I, I guess it would. Until, they Until it became a sugary goop. <laughs> and then it would turn into like a caramel. Yeah. And then kill it. Yeah. Uh, and Shawnee says it's cool, but I won't be playing that game. Why not? Uh, what else can I touch on now? So let's get a closer look at the hotel sign here. So we got the no tell hotel. Kind of flickering on and off in certain elements. And then you can see the, the no vacancy sign, but just the vacancy is lit up because they have rooms available. Well, there's a 14 terabyte Seagate iWolf in there, so there's always going to be room. <laughs> <laughs> Storage <laughs> puns! Uh, yeah, so that does... <laughs> Sorry, Shawnee said she won't be playing it because it's never going to get released. <laughs> <laughs> we can dream, Shawnee! So, mm -hmm. yeah, these letters were 3D printed and then inset into laser cut acrylic. I'm trying to give smooth motion here, but this, this tripod's a bit... Yeah, that's the word. <clears throat> but yeah, so 
They were 3D printed, stuck in transparent resin, and then backlit in all the right colours, including like having the red down this side and the blue for the left ring, like it is in the game. Um, I can give you a better look at the CPU loop now as well. So here we've got, like I say, you're coming from the blue reservoir on the right, up into the CPU. The CPU then comes out of there into the VRM to the motherboard, which then comes over then, down, back out of this pipe, and straight up to the radiator, and then back down in this funky angle pipe into that reservoir. The harder loop was by far the GPU because, oh, 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 there we go. Oh, it actually works a bit better now to loose it. So, move this with me. So we're coming out of this reservoir, down, across, up, and then it's going to loop around that graphics card whilst also suddenly cooling up around that graphics card. And it's both going to come out of the left side, down, around another funky loop, which goes all the way around, back up to the top, into this radiator. Now you can't quite see if I can move that eyeball can. <laughs> the eyeball can. <laughs> <laughs> but just behind there is a fitting that comes out of that into that bit of pipe into another fitting which takes you into the other radiator that's the same size as that so there's, remember there's two of those huge radiators in the front then that comes back down F1 Shane says he's gotta go and he's gonna be here next week cool see you then Shane my ugly boy has returned so it's a nice trail so then you come down that hidden pipe down the back, back into this reservoir. So it was quite a complicated little process getting that one together. Uh -huh. Might be worth picking it up and going and having a look at the top. The top, yes, of course. Can this go higher? It can, but it's, it's probably just worth grabbing grabbing the power cable and uh, so we'll, we'll give you, it with you. We'll show you the top of the build. Ogre Boy seems to be asking yet again, can it play Obama Potter 8K at 60 frames per second? <laughs> I'm not even going to try, Ogre Boy. Okay, I'm going to see what I can do with this. Goddamn wires. Technology, eh? So, I'm trying my best to give you a good shot here without damaging anything. So, across the top, we have these studded spikes I mentioned before. Make sure in the full length either side. Then in between that we've got these 3D printed vents that don't actually function. Well, I guess they do function in a way because air does come through them, but they're not, you know, they're not improving performance, they're just there to look cool. So there's four of those? Four of those vents on the top, which again were 3D printed and all hand painted and airbrushed to look all industrial. <clears throat> And coming out of them is just some tubes that I've made little mounts for, stuck to the back of those, and down into these little 3D printed plates in between, which are more spaces. And like I say, you can kind of see the gap there between the acrylic sheet I used to put the studs on, which was then adhered down to the actual case itself. Yeah. Is it time to swing it round and show the backside? It's time to show the rear. Yeah. Oh, I suppose I can show the front first because no one we haven't seen the front panel really, do I? <laughs> I haven't spoke about the front panel anyway. Love everything you did there, it gives me inspiration for my new build. What are you gonna do? I don't know how to say your name and I'm really sorry. Uh, <laughs> How do I say that? Which one? I don't know if like, is the L silent? Do I say the L? Is the J silent? Lich. Is it Jibisa? Lichbisa? J I don't know. <laughs> the spikes look nice, but I'm scared that <laughs> if I own this, my cat would jump on the PC and get hurt <laughs> from the- Yeah, it's the stop pigeons! Cat, <laughs> cat deterrent system. Um, okay, so the front 
It's like the computer's got arms. <laughs> okay, that amused me far too much. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Okay. We, we, we got. We went over, but yeah. Okay, pretty quick. So, the front of this is a neon light edge acrylic that was laser etched with a custom pattern design that I made. Obviously, I didn't make that. CD Project Red made that, but I modified it to go on here. I made the little patterns that frame the edge. When I first put it on, it was kind of one of those things, I, I did it, I kind of liked it, but with how grungy the rest of the case looked, I felt like it was a bit obvious, because I wanted it to look like a, um, like a cyberpunk Neo Tokyo billboard advertisement thing. You know, like the big screens that you see in like Times Square and things like that, something like that. So I was kind of thinking on where or how I could make it look like this was actually coming from somewhere instead of just stuck on the front of the case. So that's why I 3D printed, again, these little frame pieces, attached wire in between them, added the Arasaka logo, one of the corporations in the game, to the panel, to try and make it look like this is what was kind of floating there, projecting this image, if that makes sense. Sounds like you've said that a million times. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I'm just gonna spin it around, and, and like I say, I, I don't think the rear has had enough appreciation. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say love that. I don't think the butt has had enough love. <laughs> Shade right. will love that quote. <laughs> right. That's, I might tell them to just clip it. Clip it. We right. going. We going full on. Yeah. Oh yeah. We should do it. Full on the uh, back end. Are you trying to tell me this boy can spin? <laughs> uh, okay. Right. So if we've got anyone here, because is Ben still here? Ben might have done so. Yeah, he is. Yeah, but it's going to take Ben half an hour. Yeah, it's going to take him half an hour to respond, yeah. So if you're you're still here, Ben, which I can see you in the chat, you're probably one of the people here who's a big enough fan of Cyberpunk to have actually gone and looked at the website I mentioned before, which is nightcity.love. And if you go on there, there's a very good chance you might start noticing things that are on the back here that have come kind of from that website, from their billboards and their advertisements and their pop-ups. Like these signs here for different people going for Mayer, Weldon Holt, Zoom. Lucius Ryan. <coughs> Zoom. Zoom, Zoom. Right, yeah, let's, let's do this. We'll start at the top left. So that's how people read. Okay. So we've obviously we've got the main stencil of the samurai name at the top. And then just over here we've got like these billboards, posters that I wanted to make it look like someone had just come and slapped them on. And then they've had a lot of wear and tear over the years that they've been there. I even drew on this guy's face. Like that's not part of the graphic. I put that on there afterwards. For fun. We've got Weldon Holt for mayor, we've got a couple of the other candidates here. Uh, we've got, what's the weight on that thing? We're not sure is the answer. Yeah, I think the the weight on this is over 40 kilos. We've got, shut up and take my money from Overboy. <laughs> and Ig Steven says, are those doors and do they open? They do, but I'm not going to open them. <laughs> um, Purely because I've taken bits apart recently during photo shoot to make sure everything was working and pulled cables out this way and that. And then, Which I guess kind of looks cyberpunky, but all it's going to do is make people go, Oh, you've got a cable manager better. <laughs> Paladin Mods says, what is this? This is... The Paladin use. Mods? Yeah. Does Paladin Mods mod PCs? Curious with a name like that. Doesn't sound like they would. Sounds like something that you do. But to answer the question, it is the cyberpunk inspired mod builds. So this little no future was airbrushed on. That's all UV reactive as well, which I will I'll try and get the light on this back piece um, before we end stream. Then we've got like other stuff from the, the bands in there. The mods games. Mods games, okay. Arasaka Industries. 
This I thought was a, a really weird advert that I found on the website, but it was so weird I loved it. All foods easy beef. So fresh, it wriggles in your mouth. Obviously an advertisement for some uh, homegrown beef. You got this here for travel from Chicago to Night City in under three hours. This one again, Nicola, one of the beverages in the game. We've got graffiti for the Voodoo Boys. No, we're showing the samurai at the end. Can't see that yet. Uh, this, I think, is I can't remember what that one's from, but it was cool. These, oh, these, those are movie posters from movies that are actually in the game. And then we've got, if you know anything about the the characters and the casting for the game, this is Lizzie Wizzy, who is. A kind of in-game pop star, music artist, um, who has gone like, she's gone full cyborg, so she's, you know, barely considered human anymore. But she's played by Grimes, the music artist, mm. who is, is she still dating Elon Musk? But was with Elon Musk for quite a while. Then over here we've got more movie posters. Poster advertisement for Real Water, Vote for Ales, Sixth Street Gang, uh, more movie posters, and then we've got the best bit, I think, which is the Samurai, which was hand airbrushed on <clears throat> in UV reactive paint. A couple of their album art covers there with the Where's Johnny, which a lot of people were a bit confused about, but it is in a lot of the game trailers. It's about Johnny Silverhand, who's in the game, who has disappeared, and everyone thinks he was killed off for like speaking out against the government and corporations, etc. So Where's Johnny is like a popular tag that's uh, found in the game. But I think that's... That's most... I'm sure there's some other stuff there I could go through, but running through the obvious things... Well, we've got four minutes left, so I was going to say, uh, well, maybe we save the UV for the video. Just people are reason to. Uh, okay. Because I was just thinking. No to, UV for you. To do it properly, we're going to have to turn it back around and then go through yeah. every single side. Okay, let me zoom back out. Do it. So for anyone who's just turned up, we just did a full tour. Of a Cyberpunk 2077 modded PC, and you missed it. <laughs> but that's okay, because we're going to make a cut down YouTube version, hopefully. So blame Elon for game design. <laughs> yeah. God damn, this is heavy. <laughs> it's just when he, yeah, when he does that, I don't like it when it judders. It's alright, it's solid. Just feel like something's going to It's well on. hard. I've done built it good. Anyone got any last questions or forever hold your keys? <clears throat> so for anyone who has just turned up, you're gonna get a better view of it now. While I turn it back around. You can't spend the entire stream teasing the UV and then not show us. Ah yes. Yes I can. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll save it for the video. Keep your eyes on our Content! <laughs> it's a very forced content. It's a very forced maneuver. So, what do you think, guys? You glad you stopped by? Did you learn something? Nicola sounds so much like Nuke Cola. Oh, yeah, kind of. Nuke Cola. Did I explain well enough what you were looking at, Paladin Mods? <clears throat> hey, Nicholas YT. If I threw it from the top of Burns, can we fit on a whale? What would happen to the whale? <laughs> it would gain 120 FPS. <laughs> <laughs> what an answer. <laughs> Although, if we're going to do a crazy build series, one of my suggestions was building a PC and dropping it from different heights. 
Oh, with, with this packaging, obviously. Yeah, do. We'll, we'll build our own. Do you remember those laptops they used to do, them Panasonic Tough Books? Ah, oh, the ones you could drop. Yeah, we yeah. want to do a PC yeah. version. Yeah. Like, get two people building the most solid PC possible. So what's the plans for the video? You're going to do some, take some cinematic shots. Have you not seen the video, Stephen? <laughs> I think that's probably YouTubes. the last the last thing we should do. It's like you either go to our YouTube or Chris will post it. But we have a video. <laughs> We've got a cinematic. Have you not seen the video? Very, very cinematic, epic. Awesome. No. Oh my god. Get out! <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Oh, oh hey, stop for it. reference, on the scale, by the way, guys, you may have noticed this doesn't have a side panel on. This is the tempered glass side panel. For the case. <sighs> this is all glass. This is why the case alone weighs go. over 30 kilo. There's the epic video. <clears throat> it's actually climbing it. Like, it, it went off slow, but I never thought on YouTube this would be a rocket. Like, crazy. Uh, viral video, that's it. Oh. I, 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 I always thought this one was just going to like pick up and just keep going the more people spoke about it. Well, yeah. I think well, now there's announcements and Cyberpunk's going to end up trending because they've delayed it again. <laughs> Everyone's going to be like, no, 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 Cyberpunk. And because every post I've made is hashtag Cyberpunk, maybe more people will see it. Who knows? Glad you like it, Stephen. There's more on my TikTok after Prime. Cool. Right, I think that is us going to wrap it up now. It is indeed. It is. Oh, wow! It's almost eight o'clock. Yes. <laughs> That's why I want to be out of the building by eight. So. Um, okay. It's been a pleasure. I hope you all enjoyed your time here. Um, we'll make this into a video as soon as we can. Oh, I need a USB. Is this USB stick free? Sure. Why not? Woohoo! Um. But yeah, we, we really hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed the video you've just seen for the first time, Stephen. Make <laughs> sure you share it everywhere. Send it to all your nerd friends. And other cool friends, because this is cool. Um, but yeah. Oh, that's all the graphics that we put on those monitors. <laughs> Yo. We're literally leaving now. Yeah. Far enough then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Please answer this one last question. A meteor ended the science or the vast land of humans. I threw over it was from a really far away to the ground in humanity. Probably the second part because it's heavy and that's terminal velocity and physics and explosions and stuff. Okay. Make it quick then, Ogre Boy. We've got to go. And I don't believe you that it's a serious question. I'm not convinced. Oops, uh, oh, this could take a while. <gasps> Feel free to answer any questions that aren't going into the video because we're on 7%. Cool. Ugh. I already asked it. And I answered it. Wait, no, how heavy is that, the glass panel? I don't know. I could not tell you. Heavy. It's as heavy as a glass panel. <coughs> Subscribed and liked on YouTube. There we go. Doing something right. No, please add it to the video. Dun, dun, dun. I don't know how he's going to edit all of that like rambling I did. If I threw a Roboraptor from the side, like, I answered it. I said, would it burn or would it hit the ground and end humanity? I imagine it would, it would cause a Roboraptor apocalypse over the way. End, end of the polar ice caps would melt. The world would end. Crazy. <laughs> but I need to get out of here. I'm going to go and stop the stream. I appreciate everyone stopping by and all the kind words I've had from making this. It's been good fun and I can't wait to start another project. So feel free to like tag me on Twitter, tag Fierce on Twitter for any ideas you might have for stuff that we could do in the future. I will take it all on board, I promise. And maybe we could do something cool.
But thank you very much, guys. I'm going to end the stream now. And I'll see you all next time.